Hi everyone! In today's video, I'm going to talk to you about preparing the entryway of your home for Montessori. Now, as adults, we might think that the entryway is simply the area of our home where we exit and enter, uh, but for a child, it's so much more than that. This is the area of the home where they're going to learn to put on their shoes, to take off their shoes, to put on and take off their jackets, to dress for the weather that is outside. It's a really important area. Now, I will also add here that in Montessori classrooms, entering and exiting the classroom is a part of our day. When the children enter into the classroom, we give them as much time as they need to to take off their outerwear, hang things up, put on their indoor shoes and enter into the classroom. And the same at the end of the day, I was giving about 30 minutes for us to um, get ourselves ready to go outside. So um, it's important to uh, give yourself a lot of time in this area of the home as well. But I'll get started with talking to you about how to prepare it now. So because this is an area for, uh, for independence, you want to create order. So um, you want to have accessible low hooks for the child to be able to find their jackets. Um, now, similar to other areas of the home, the child might not yet be um, removing their jackets or hanging up their jackets on these hooks um, at a very early age, but they will eventually, especially once they reach um, you know, toddlerhood where they start to really need more opportunities for independence. So having some low hooks where they know to find their jackets um, is really helpful. Um, having a little basket uh, for their loose items, so something like this that could hold their hats, their mitts, or um, I'm thinking about the winter already, but uh, in the summertime it could hold their sunglasses, sunscreen, anything that they will need um, before they head out the door. So a nice little basket by the door, again, to contain all of their items is a really uh, helpful addition. Um, you want to have somewhere for them to sit. So some homes have staircases, some um, children prefer to sit on the floor, uh, but what you can also do is add a little uh, chair or stool like this one. So it's just a spot for the child to be able to sit, to take off their shoes, to put on their shoes. It's easier to do this um, sitting on a stool or on a, a little chair like this than it is on the floor. It gives them a little bit more mobility. And this one is nice and low to the ground supports them on three sides. So a cube chair like this. We also have uh, something similar to this, but it's longer. Uh, it's a bench. So that is also uh, something else that you could add to your entryway if you have the space. But if you don't, a small little cube chair or stool like this. So you can see we sell this at the shop. Um, it's got two different heights for the seat and you can even just put it this way and have it be a stool. So it will also grow with your child. To continue to create order in this area of the home, you could also have a mat for their shoes so that they know that that's where they put their shoes or their boots once they take them off. Um, you could even add a little photograph underneath their hook. There are so many different things you can do uh, in this space to personalize it and kind of make it an interesting space for your child. Because as I said at the start of the video, they're going to be spending quite a bit of time here and learning some really important skills. So uh, preparing the entryway is just as important as uh, preparing the other areas of your home. The best way to foster your child's independence in the entryway uh, of your home is to sit with them and guide them as they are learning to take off their shoes and put on their shoes independently. Taking things off is much easier than putting things on. So if you wanna start um, with some of the independence, I would definitely start with taking things off. Just like in every other area of the home, 
you are your child's greatest teacher. And so in order for them to learn how to remove their shoes and hang up their jackets, they need to see you doing all of these things first. So make time for your child to be able to observe you doing these things. Try to do them slowly every once in a while, or at least not in a very rushed fashion, so that the child is able to see all of the different movements and actions that you do uh, in order to get yourself ready to get out the door every day or even uh, coming back inside from, from the outdoors. Sit on the floor with your child, take your time, show them where to place their hands to remove their shoes, help them hand over hand to hang up their jackets, and before you know it, uh, you'll see that they start doing these things for themselves. Now I know I talk about uh, preparing the areas of the home for independence, but what I don't think I've talked about yet is the idea that just because your child can do things for themselves doesn't necessarily mean that they're going to want to all the time. Now the, the thing about independence is it really has to be driven by the child. We the adults set up the areas for the child, we be a role model for the child in terms of independence, but um, if they need help, we want to help them. Um, now, needing help um, is them asking you for help. So on occasion, sometimes a child who can do all of these things for themselves will ask for help. And this is because they're in need of a connection. They're feeling tired or they're hungry or they just don't feel like doing it themselves that day. And maybe what they need instead is connection with the adult that is with them. So don't be afraid to help them if they ask for it. Now, the flip side of this, and I think I have talked about this before, is not over helping. So if your child is working really hard to put on their shoes by themselves and they're not asking you for help and they're not frustrated doesn't look like they're they're getting discouraged or any of those things you want to sit back and let them work through that challenge on their own. It's when the child looks up and says, can you help me or I need some help or you see that they're really visibly frustrated and you say, I can, can I help you with that? I'll help you put on your shoes today. So you really want to observe your child um, as they're completing some of these tasks, as they're working on some of these tasks because when they need help, you want to offer help, but when they don't need help, you want to uh, sit back. And uh, one of the famous uh, sort of Montessori mottos is, help me to do it myself. So you just want to sit back and observe, and be ready to help when they need it, uh, but otherwise try not to interfere when they're working on some of these tasks on their own. Similar to all the other areas of the home that we have discussed, it's about creating access and setting up the space for your child's independence or later independence, depending on what age they're at. And you can do that with some low hooks, a spot for them to sit, somewhere for them to put their shoes or their boots, and a basket for them to uh, contain some of their loose items. So it doesn't take much. Um, I hope you found this helpful and uh, I'll see you next time. Bye.